hello guys today i like to show i like to show you how to install a mongodb on mac macbook so firstly we will know what is mongodb mongodb is a cross platform document oriented database program classified as a no sql database program mongodb uses the json like document uh, with optional schemas mongodb is used by wide range of companies like facebook ebay and netflix so we can say that mongodb is also one of the most popular no sql database program so what are the features of mongodb mongodb stores data in flexible json like document called bison binary json data data in mongodb is organized into collections which are analogous to tables in relational databases mongodb does not require you to define a schemas for your data this give you more flexibility in how you store your data MongoDB provides a powerful query language that supports rich document based queries. It allows you to retrieve, filter and manipulate data using flexible set of query operators. So, what is the difference between MongoDB and RDMS? The one who are already familiar with RDMS knows that uh, <coughs> this uh, RDMS terms. So, what are uh, what are the new terms in mongodb that are related to rdms so for database we call it in mongodb as a database but for the table we call it as collection in mongodb and for the row we call it as a document and for the column we call it as a field so to install mongodb i need to go to the mongodb website so i'll just click here and this is the site of mongodb website so i'll hover on the product and here we get the community server today i'll install the community server on my mac so i'll click on the community server and here are the two way or two option for the to install the mongodb one by using the home brew uh, command uh, command uh, and another is by just installing uh, the download uh, installing the file so i'll install this i'll download for i'll first i'll download and I'll wait while it is downloading. So after the after uh, I'll just click on the file, and uh, when I click on the file, it is extracted and create the new file uh, on download. So when I click inside here, I'll get one bin file here. So what I need to do is I'll just need uh, need to right click here and I'll just uh, click on the new terminal at folder. So I'll just click here slash mongo d. Okay. <coughs> and uh, wait, wait, okay. Now to get the help uh, from the mongo d, uh, we can just get uh, by just typing mongo d uh, dash dash help, and we can get the list of help from the mongod and uh, we need the path uh, <coughs> to install the mongod mongod so for that what you need to do is uh, dot backslash mongod uh, mongo mongod slash uh, db path and we need to choose the path to install the mongod so for that i'll just click here and i'll go to my system user and see here i'll create one folder known as the db folder and i'll just get its path thus i'll copy db as a path file here and i'll just paste it here and i'll enter it okay now it has been successfully installed now what i need to do is uh, wait okay now what I need to do is for the GUI interface, I'll just download the compass uh, just by clicking here in compass. Uh, I'll click on the download button and here we'll get the zip file of MongoDB cell download MongoDB compass GUI. We need to download this one. Okay, I'll choose the platform. Okay, RM16 DMZ download. Okay, now I'll wait until the download will be complete the size is not so big it's just uh, 120 MB
okay after that i'll just click here and i'll just drag this mongodb compass into my application here now the installation process is completed here it is mongodb compass okay open now i'll just click on the connect okay now there are no queries till now so i'll create one new database here like uh, students and i'll create the collection name as a uh, students too and i'll create the database here and uh, i'll just i can add the uh, document from here so in this way we can create a uh, install our mongodb on our system and we can insert the data from here for today this much only thank you i hope you like this video